<laughs> well, this is the fun part of the show where we get to do things like spill coffee on carpet because we're about to talk about getting out those tough spots. Anything from lipstick to mustard. We have Coke here, red wine, and we have a real expert with us. George Grijalva is with Checkmate. Hey, George. Hey. Welcome back. Thank Good you. to see you. You didn't mind my coffee spill there. No, I didn't. After what Helen did at my house, I mean, that's mild. Yeah, we met <laughs> you before when Helen did red wine on the carpet. But yeah, she did something like this. Yeah. On my yeah, carpet. She really did. And she you had to get did. it out before your wife got home. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you succeeded. Talk about some of these common problems people have, George. Okay, um, well, it really starts with the basics. Um, about 95% of your carpet cleaners have no education. We call them Bubba. About 5% are IICRC certified. So if any homeowners out there want to get a good qualified technician, they want to make sure that they're IICRC certified. Mm -hmm. So Paul's basically a Bubba, <laughs> as I would be, because we don't know anything about it when we go in. But if somebody <laughs> trapes mud across the carpet, what should we do? Well, I wanted to bring stains as far as what people should not touch, because some of these stains are what we call a growing monster. Mm -hmm. If you look at this pen stain right here, it's about the size of a dime. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, I can get that out. Mm -hmm. I paid $8,000 for my carpet. I can get that out, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's got stain resistance. Mm -hmm. Well, that right there, if you attempt to get that out, it will spread into a growing monster. So you don't want to touch that. You, you want to call a professional. Oh, call a professional. You okay. want to call a professional mm -hmm. on that one. Uh, nail polish you want to call a professional on. Mustard, guess what? It's not going to come out. I don't care what anyone says out there. It's not going to come out. You're going to need a bonded insert on that one. And uh, when a professional technician shows up, he's got space age equipment. I mean, he's got a machine that has a four-cylinder pickup truck engine in it. If he stuck the hose on the wall of the drywall, boom, it'll pull a hole in the wall. So it has a lot of power to extract these. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people out there care about their carpet, so we want to make sure that they get the right information. So let's talk about what we can get out on our yeah, own. I think the mud. Okay. Show okay. Us you something. think the mud? Well, you know, that's a muddy boot. That's from paintball. So uh, I, don't, I don't think we can get that one out, but I'll give you some tips as far as when you get a stain. Let's say, oh, your teenager spin, spill Coca-Cola or your husband on the carpet. First thing you want to do is you want to get something to sop it up. You want to make sure that it's not a towel that's going to color migrate on it. We use that word because we don't like the word bleeding. And uh, once you soak that up best you can, then you're going to want to use some kind of spotting agent. And if you don't know what kind of spotting agent to use, you've got to be really careful because a lot of spotting agents on the market today could void your warranty. Um, <laughs> the one thing you want to do is make sure that you use a spotting agent that's recommended by your carpet store, carpet cleaner, or carpet mill. What's that one? This is what we call a uh, Zoop. Zoop is a soda pop remover. And everyone's got a shop vac out there in their garage, and that's their best thing. I don't have a shop vac with me because my customers wouldn't appreciate if I show up with a shop vac because it looks a little unprofessional. But what I got here is just an extractor. the coffee over here that's probably a common spill what would you do with the coffee that's an old one now too. the coffee the one thing that people don't understand is that it's all science and coffee is an acidic stain and if you go with your typical alkalinity that's on. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> it's an iron. Paul just took the iron and put it right down on Leave the Leave it to the professionals I've, I've never here. picked one up before. This is the SWAT team, not the fire department here, okay? <laughs> the one thing that people make a mistake is they grab a cleaner that's an alkalinity, and what happens is they will set the stain. Coffee is the only stain that is an exception to the rule that you have to clean it with an acid. So I would really leave that to a professional. If you can't get it up with your shop vac and some water, then call a professional if you care about your carpet. But, but try the vacuum. But the try your first. vacuum. We yeah. have a lot of scientific methods to get out coffee, so I'll give you a demonstration of mm -hmm. the coffee. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you want to first mix up. Got about 30 like seconds this. here, George, so got to be quick. Okay, well, you know what? We're probably not going to be able to spend much time on that demonstration. Mm -hmm. Well, we can try it during the break. What do you have the iron for? The iron, most people, when they get wax on their carpet, they don't know what to do and how you get wax out of the carpet. And be really careful because you could create an iron burn. And if you're unsure about being able to do it yourself, you may want to call a professional for that one too. But what you do is you take a white towel and you melt that wax into the iron. And uh, that's a great way to get out the wax. And it just should just lift yeah, it. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. <laughs> now, the one thing I do want to mention is most people don't realize is that they're carpet has a warranty and in order to keep out. that mm -hmm. warranty mm -hmm. they have to make sure that they get their car carpets hot water extracted within 12 to 24 months otherwise their warranty is voided 
And with spring cleaning coming up, this is a great time to do it. Mm -hmm. George, you know it all. When it comes to carpets, there's the information about your service. Checkmate Carpet Services, the phone number on the screen. Thanks so much for coming by. And you do show up in uniform, right? Full uniform. We do. We look just like this. We actually copied the SWAT team. I, 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 like, I like the look. And if the cop thing doesn't work out for you guys, you've got the outfit. I mean, That's right. All right. All right. We are hiring. Yeah. We're yeah. back after a short break.